me welcome Prophet Dr. Kofi Otro. <laughs> Let me hear you make some joyful noise unto the Lord. I don't have a moment to bro. Hallelujah. We bring greetings in the name of Jesus. We thank God for his love and his mercy. I want to thank God for the life of Pastor Brian for bringing ayers to us. Thank you very much, sir. And your team will celebrate God's goodness for your lives. I mean, this is priceless. This is priceless. I have room room names, woman to bro. Hallelujah. I've been following since morning. Um, all the speakers, amazing, meticulous speakers, very deep, very insightful, very educated. Uh, and very inspiring. Tonight, I've been so blessed by the testimony of my honorable minister. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you so much. We need, we need uh, tables like these to speak to us. I mean, like how you did it. Because we see it out there and we feel like we're in a money pier. Sunny too and Grubia tuning and yin. Yeah. And so we want to thank God for your life and the the humility, the simplicity to come down to our level and to relate, to share. May the Lord bless you richly so much. Today I have the honor and the privilege to meet my teacher. Papa, you don't know, but I have followed from afar, from Living Springs to all nations, and uh, every teaching is, means a lot. And uh, today, it is not on the screen, it is not by tape. Sitting here, watching you, listening is, 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 is everything. The Lord richly bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we've been here for some time, so I will not you know, waste your time. Allow me 19 minutes of your time. 12 minutes will be the main thing. And then the rest will, you know, you will scavenge. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Um, I have to say to Prophet Brian, this is one of the most august platforms, not platform as in exhibition of gift, but this is platforms for birthing destinies that this nation has come to realize. And I think that the body of Christ should stop this unwholesome uh, comparison and competitions and come to the place of complimenting each other and to really thank God for such a great gift. God has given you, the young people, given you a table to bring them together. We all have to rally behind you and you lead the whole thing and the whole stream and then we give God the glory for I mean, there are people standing here right now that are going to come with testimonies like the gentleman was sharing with us. Yes, I was at the IES 20, I was at IES 2020, that I was at IES, and the Lord is going to birth amazing things out of their lives. And so thank you for bringing IES. Amen. All right, let's share a word of prayer just one moment. And Father, we are careful to give you all the glory. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will enable us, grant us revelation and intuition. And even in this very perilous times in which we live, grant us help. In Jesus' precious name. And somebody shout amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Allow me to spread. 
allow me to spread the pride of the nation on this altar also and uh, ask the goodness of God to remember our country. Bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Make us cherish fearless honesty. And help us to resist oppressors' rule. Hallelujah. When my teacher was teaching, I, I was listening in, intuitively because... Uh, I'm living in a very difficult generation. I'm not only talking about uh, the, the difficulty is not about economic difficulty and all that. We're living in a time where um, we're living in a prayerless generation, a heartless generation. We are living in a lawless generation. We are living in a loveless generation. We're living in a time where Brother does not genuinely care about brother. We preach love, but we exhibit hate. You know, we live in the time where uh, hypocrisy has emerged from the pulpit. You know, so I thought that uh, Prophet Brian, it was, it was an oxymoron. It was, it was a mistake to put, you know, behind my father. Because after all the encouragement now, I don't even know what to say again. You, you know, the prophetic nature of... Pastor Frank, I, I don't know what to say again. But the, the, we live in the times where um, we are living in that also time where we are having an invigorated breed of people coming up. It's, it's, an, it's a prophetic emergence. We're living in a prophetic emergence. Um, when I look at uh, um, Dr. Frank, how he put it, he's been married for 40 years and uh, doing ministry in that articulation, ladies and gentlemen, that is a statement. You know, um, I see most of the patriarchs and the matriarchs of this land all clock 60 years and above. You know, we see in 60 years and above, 65, 62, 61, 63, and all that. That alone is a statement. That alone is a statement. It's a statement that in the next 40 years, all the big names that we hear now will not be there. Oh, maybe let me start it in a nice way. In the next hundred years, none of us will be here. Obia. There's no two ways about that. In the next hundred years. Men find the power yet. Opa for our age in a hundred. Hallelujah. So in the next 40 years. 60% of the puppets in this nation will be replaced. That should be concerning to us. Therefore, Pastor Brian, all these lovely people are not people we can joke with. These are going to be the people that are going to be sitting in the authority in the city gates. The quality of people we produce determine the quality of life. Hey, I mean, guys, I'm going to show you. A twerk is here. Tia! Witty. Wouldn't you say, be a speaker, boom, I'm a bit in our cars, I'm as wind here, I wouldn't you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the days of looking at physique, Paul you to make a relational decision will be a frivolous and a loose decision because the physique of a woman or a man will not determine the quality they produce. Therefore, as I stand here right now, God is raising people, not only in ministry, I mean, when I look at the Honorable Minister of Information, you know, Honorable Koyo Oponkroma was not my minister only seven years ago. Only seven years ago. 
15 years ago, there was no social media. 20 years ago, there was nothing like streaming and people watching around the world. 25 years ago, there was nobody like Mark Zuckerberg. The people that are controlling the world right now in terms of business, infrastructure, in terms of finance, and all stuff like that in the corporate market and in the job place. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 years ago, the, the game was not like what it is right now. There is a movement. There is an emergence. God is raising new masters. New masters. In the political crowd, Four years to eight years, new masters emerge in lifestyle and uh, in trends. You know, we have from 11 years to 16 years, there is a new trend. And then it goes into new masters. When we're raising, raising new masters, an interface, like 18 years to 25 years to 28 years, 29 years, we see totally in total interface changes. As I'm speaking to you right now, new musicians coming up. In the secular front, in the gospel fraternity, we are seeing new masters coming up in entrepreneurship, in business, and all stuff like that. They are coming up. In this university, you are seeing new masters. They are emerging. They are still, you know, be careful the way you treat each other because you never know who is going to open the next door for you because it doesn't take long for the doors to, to, to for the tables to turn. So be careful the way you may have the privilege now and lose it tomorrow. So everybody in this place, I will want to, you know, uh, there, there I have always compared two particular uh, uh, proverbs. The first one is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse number 14. The Bible said, where there is no counsel, the people fall. Proverbs chapter 29, verse number 18, the Bible said, where there is no vision, the people perish. But the first one shakes me a lot. Where there is no counsel, the, fe the people fall. God doesn't have a problem lifting you up and giving you an opportunity. You know, you are the dawn of the day, you carry everything, you are, you, you've emerged, you are trending, you are doing amazing things, you have become the next billionaire, the, all that kind of, The Lord does not have a problem blessing people. You know, the doors are going to always open. Great men of God are going to emerge. New prophets are going to come. New leaders are going to emerge. New businesses are going to emerge. You know, if I stand here and I say, I mentioned a, a profound, astute, outstanding, celebrated businessman like B. A. Mensa. Most of you will not even know him because he is not the name of now. But there is a young man and a young woman sitting here right now who is going to be the next big name. So I am not going to hallelujahize what we're doing tonight because there are so many people who, will not, who are watching us right now who will not respond to hallelujah. But they need the content of the message. Therefore, we cannot let them loose. We cannot cut them loose. Onyami doesn't have problem lifting people. The problem is that the people when they are raised, elevated, they do not know how to take care of themselves. Therefore, it doesn't take long for them to lose it. Tell me anybody that has been celebrated, still trending for 40 years in any sphere. Music. Sometimes when I'm speaking like this, it brings emotions because I, it reminds me of some very beautiful people. Like our sister, you know, uh, uh, my, my favorite actress, Susie Williams. May the Lord bless her soul. Like our sister, Ebony. It brings me emotions when I, I, I remind people, it reminds me of people like Terry Bonchaka. So when I see the, the, the candidates of today and how they behave themselves, boys, he started to be a moment here. Boy, see, certain no more we now can search the moment here. I feel almost at the bottom one now for your solution. And I yes, I thank God for I yes. I yes is is like it's like seven a course meal. 
you know, different speakers. They have different, you know, methodologies, phenomenologies. They come in different aspects. I like the ladies that came in the morning, amazing people. They, they, how they articulated it and all that. In the evening, they toned down very maturely from the honorable minister to my father and all stuff like that. I feel now you're the Zungu boys, a big gum near to turn by heart by heart. You, you don't have to put, put it in a nice way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because the, when, when we're talking about these things, we, the, the most important thing should not be the glamour. We should be able to watch the snares that can entangle you, that can destroy you, the five minutes pleasure that can deny you a whole future. We should be able to give attention. Can you saw your show? Oh, saw your show. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so people will emerge. They will be great. They will have big names. But there are so... Adam, this is the garden. It's yours. Use it. You know everything. You have access to everything. But your warning. It shocks me. Something... You are a mighty man. You will judge Israel. A, B, C, D. But, and persons who know good is on her year. She in and Sardinia and Kuan Nona, a dear dear Namua Moti home. Samson in a Conodia Coton and New Yam. And I'm, I'm standing here. It shocks me that all the things that the Lord wants Samson, don't do it. That is what he did. All the people the Lord warned in the Bible, Saul, go kill Amalek. Every, anybody you meet, destroy. Don't bring anything here. I don't need man, mankind or livestock. So now we are the prophet went and said, What didn't quasia some? Then I'm sweating didn't quasia some to make you and someone in you know. A dear no, you were born a cocono and no one. Anyway, I know you will be elevated, but may I leave you with five warnings prophetic warnings. Number one, forgetfulness. She now you don't feel. Somebody raised you up. Never forget that person. Somebody opened doors for you. Never forget those people. And this generation is a forgetful generation. And channel when we free. I'm on kai. I'm on in kai. Deuteronomy chapter number eight and verse number when you got you, you get to verse number eleven. As a matter of fact, from verse number 10, I will pick up from verse 10. The, the Bible said, and when you have come into the land which the Lord your God, and when you are eating and you are, you are full, thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the land he has given you. Verse number 11, interesting verse. He said in verse number 11, he said, thou shalt not forget the Lord. Beware. Beware. There are people that are your helpers. In this life, there are five different kinds of helpers that comes in different categories. Yeah, facilitating helpers, prophetic helpers, destiny helpers, appointed helpers, you know, and so on. These helpers, they come in different spheres of your life. Some for a reason, some for a season, and some for a lifetime. I will say it again. Some for the people that comes into your life, they will all not stay in your life until the end. Some for a reason, some for a season, some for a lifetime. All these people must be appreciated on different levels in which they came. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how it operates. Appreciate everybody, including your haters and your enemies. They all play the role. They all play the role. I mean, when the honorable minister was speaking and I was listening attentively, there were, there were places and at points that opposition was kicked up by heaven. Those people, you need to learn lessons from them and appreciate them. Am I with them through what so be in the tree will ticket will be and the saw one sadia and see a brand one. We eat a moo. 
Obi buwa o. Ema wili mfiri wunda. That is the, your number one prophetic warning. Number two, complacency. Tiri mode. Mbaburu mufu e bo fo mu na tiri mode na di wamo hui from. The Bible said in the year where, at the time where kings go to war, David was on his balcony. Therefore, when I listen to the phrases of scriptures and I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Tirimude, 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 tirimude. Eba wo suana hand time. I feel a hand time ba ya. There are some very fine bankers that were in this country. I learned a lot of the lessons that collapsed. The four banks that collapsed in this country. I learned a lot of lessons from those people. Hey, and son of a bank, he did we poke parties, poo side. Nina, young fan yasum, sacraman king kitten, the little foxes, they destroy the bar. Even if you mean it, da, then you realize that strange things will begin to happen. The moment we begin to cross the lines, I'm telling you, Timudano Baya will be told, go a yugo, cuckoo, or quail, and the people. And all stuff like that. If you put two goose on it, you would have any team. I feel better now. We've been a sick cook on the home. Google ran away. I'll say, and I'll feel CC and one by a TM. You have a baby. You will send for a baby. You could not know. Most you could not. Team would have you been with customers in Ico and all that kind of thing. Name Juma number from Team would I say, I'm sorry, me, yes, I'll cost so. Nanka, sorry, me, yan, ye, so for Gina Puna, no help. Welcome. You're welcome. You know, traffic lights, church. Lord bless you. Thank you for choosing us. You know, tirimude, tirimude. Eni pa ba be bo mi na abwa fu eni so. I feel wo ba yiki tiki ta oni ema di bi 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 all that kind of thing and all that and 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 I'm I'm talking to the wise only. I'm talking to the wise only. Na eni ema ne bo fe wo tirimua. I feel di bi chia kura wo uno. Di bi chia. When things are going wrong, you don't even see it. I feel we uno se tirimude ka. You know, when, when things like that begin to, when people begin to talk like that, you realize that they are sitting on the head of a needle. The complacency have brought a lot of people down. I see people that are doing very well in the music industry and all that. The moment they begin to fly, fly first class. My first class was just to help you and facilitate you. And may I say to you, you know, it does not really mean anything, you know, when you have all the courtesies and the protocols. Don't let it go here. I have for my job, Dada. Number three prophetic warning extravagance. Akesism. This generation is sick of Akesism. The moment we see little elevation, then extravagance. I drive a Bentley, I drive a Rolls Royce, I drive a Ferrari, a Maserati, a Bugatti, I drive an Aston Martin, I drive a this, I drive a that, I drive a you know, Range Rover autobiography, you know, it's custom made. Who drew one? <laughs> Jesus was so simple to the point that we don't even articulate a title to him. I can see some 
has ripped this generation of relevance and significance. I can see some. And this is why everybody is trying to make a false impression. Yeah, you know, you are in a flight going to Kumase from the domestic departure lounge, and then you take a picture in a, you know, and say your boy is en route to Dusseldorf. Let me name say Kumase Dusseldorf. Now, I didn't know that there is Dusseldorf. You know, the moment Akasisem, Akasisem comes, it takes your attention from the most important things, and then it shifts it to trivial, minuscule, and microcosm things. Thomas Thomas Tebrofo. We're back up in the dictionary. Hallelujah. So let me recap. To everybody, forgetfulness. Never forget. Number two, complacency. Number three, extravagance. Zifri will lie for me. Hallelujah. Number four, covetousness. Emma, when you marry, will be at here. This generation is sick of a nibere. The person comes, you know, wearing something nice. We want it at all cost. Somebody is 50 years old, celebrating his birthday, her birthday. They celebrate. There are landmarks. 40 is a landmark. 50 is a landmark. 60, 70, and so on. When you're 35, you want to celebrate your birthday like somebody that is 50. So, who pesa we ye? No, I go highway, no highway, your real party, no, I feel you're dying. You know, like what we're doing right now, there are young men who feel like you just started this. And they feel that this is just a simple thing to do. Oh, yeah, 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 and all that kind of thing. Because this is one of the reasons why so many people are cheating in relationships. Any bread, any bread, any bread. Where do you have to say, wow, wow, now I'm going to pass the work into it. And you bring it, and you bring it, and you bring it, and you bring it, and you bring it. And let me finish with the last one. This one will be a bomb. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. The Bible said in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse number 1, very interesting verse of scripture. The Bible said, death flies causes the oil of apothecary or the ointment of apothecary to stink and send for the stinking savor. Put the scripture there, possibly maybe let us follow you. And in this particular, the continuation, which is the main thing, maybe I will pick it in this version and then the Bible said, so do what a little fool him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. Can you put this in maybe GNT or NLT and maybe let me read this particular thing. Verse number one only. Just verse number one. Verse number one only. The Bible uh, said, yes, death flies causes a bottle of perfume to stink. So, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. Three Babylon is a man's in a fluma would do for any a drew a bone a pro na na jimmy jimmy kakrebi a drew a drew chenyan sani and winyam. Another version of the tree Bible, and so I went to the account dictionary. I can't 
And then I met, I was interchangeably looking at the word Jiminim Kwasiasem. And then I met a greater word, Agridentrisem. And then I was looking at the, at the word of the Grinchi, what it meant. And then the Chi dictionary said, the Grinchi and Kwasiafuna Penny. Any Grinchi. God is lifting you up. But would the Jimika Krebi be fremu? And when you are made a man, you are not be from. I saw young men emerging in our nation, businesses doing amazing. Would the Jimika Krebi sleeping with women on your table? in the toilets, in your cars, outside, sleeping with girls, when your wife is at home, weeping and, and bleeding, and how are you doing? How are you doing? What's the only problem? Me better sin by heart by heart. Me we are number four. We are my baby. Me say Pastor Brown, we invite me be into me. I cry me new year. Me found out. Me found out. Till you make it king. Yeah. Me found out. Me cry me. Me baby, you make it kind of by heart way. You kind of break on. Next time you buy ice, buy over kai. You buy ice, buy over kai. I na do it. Me me we. Till you need. Hey, me say. Obi yere. Eje Jimmy. Okona ho. Eje Jimmy. Obi kuno. Eje Jimmy. Sa obe kona ho. It will strip you of all the nuanya. Minima for who came up, they were too gifted. Me say, you know, these days when I see in America somebody is prophesying, they call somebody's name and they call the house number, and America is amazed. Oh, come on. Ghana was too blessed with that. We were too honored with that. Prophets who can mention your grandmother's graveyard. They can call and mention, you know, prophetic stuff in 1843. 1844, they can mention stuff. You will be mesmerized. But, Jimmy Kakrebi. Yasein was Rano. Yasein no. Now what we have is contaminated oil. And I pay for any energy I'm sorry there. Me papa mo ako brave so that you dare not come to church when you are a witch. Now you have witches with us. So for preaching, I oye to manano. So for Timika says that that girl here came here to tempt me. You dare not come even to, even to the compound when Francis Kwesia Mwako or Auntie Grace Edumfa is ministry or, you know, when Idahosa is ministry. You dare not! Where is that anointing? Jimie Kakrebi! Kakrebi, it is so, he said. And I'm telling these boys, the Lord says, so I see, and go see, and all that kind of. But the incident is so. Incident is so. I did be one man, incident is so. It is a chrono, dear. Yeah, Obe fat, but the incident is so. Obe fed, but we need incha. This is the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, we die like dogs and goats in this generation. Me, Papa, or Wome Kwekuse, was 100 years old. 100 years old. The night I went before he died, he looked at me and said, Kofi, you know, me person me daka kra. I'm saying, who person who can be here now? I say, you know, me shira mo dada. And said things that didn't make sense until he went. Then we came to a cognizant understanding of it. And then there will be to be 100 years. I met a month ago with Mikulo Mukwetia, a woman that is 125 years old. 27 years the new from can cannabis here. I saw the demo say, Yamia to and suffering. You were so the way out the audio yard. Yamis by the Amano, you be over done now over Pamana. 27 years. Oh, my meat fear. I do from can come because you move a dear, you move a dear above Fratimicas. You move and was here one one year. 
nyinima unipa ne yetimi kasa a life well lived modi amonti o amodi amunye bibi mi ankam fo mo a life well lived and life well celebrated no me are there about what a short find the cause in sin in sin uno in sin uno in sin uno se nyame afre no nyame so be ye den wo ma me ti aso wo papa ti aso ye wo aso wo de wo ye den nyame so de wo ye den Hasia wo wudi obi ku na chi onche obi yiri wudi na chi onche modi emu ntie ntie enche onche adie bi won ma ni bi ku meye ni jo mo bebe onobo minister ka sanna wan nyi nyame amfrim me papa nso sa you cannot eliminate god and paint a success a relevant and a significant picture it's not impossible. It's not possible. Everybody here should be able to know. There one more currency soon. And they say, "Ye din shira ne bobra." If the hand of the Lord is on you, min found ye bon sambe ye manen nampo. The hand of the Lord will cause you to emerge. But se in shire ni wo swa se wo tihei. And you were trying to tongue as one to know quite a bit to two according to Medi. Oh, my me, a comedy, oh, my me, not with me to fasso a clip. I will, my me, and can oh, papa, and what someone can now. What to me, I could show boy fee, I could ya ben quine in contumely way, 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 and your chef regime. A brandy in a remao me, you are yasia don't go out to ya. Highly spiritual. At the prem be be kumo. At the prem be be kumo. At the prem be be kumo. At the prem be the mama kumo zambiem. Highly spiritual. I told you the mind of God. And what you will like others to do unto you. Do likewise unto them. Adia ye de ye wen ye wo de and find you be sister. Would you be boy? Would be be jiwo de. Now would be be jiwo de ya ma would be sumoja. I'm serious. I have for me drop me say I make I make raw manka. Man, I'm catching up. Ah yes, it is not only sweet. It is sweet and sour. Ye kenum. Aha kakra, aha kakra. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. And when you man here, and so everybody in this place, stay in one veggie me kakra biya mama fra when we nyamli we nyansem. I am done. There are this. I mean, if the Bible can tell you that a little foolishness can destroy wisdom and can destroy honor, ah, ani ya chungu vili. A dear be on why it will never be a blessing when it comes out of your mouth. The generation where people will come, you know, you want penny for me. Say, Papa Sophon, I mean, guys, I'm sure the days of Pentecost, Sophon, Apostolic, CSC, their preachers will grow very old. It's you, Jenny, Papa Sophon, will be quite a little bit of a mission. We are I have colleagues that died at 37, 40. 47. Really? Look at the patriarchs of these nations. Ghana, your papa no maso from penny for. Ubi e tremu di e woho. We hunu ne nana umu nim. Na meme colleagues. 40 years. We konu wa deda na dada kemi. Shene ni muase. Jack na ajiri ya. In niya sempa. Adwin fi. We brought, we, we brought contamination to the altar of God. And until we purge ourselves, until we purge ourselves, we are living in deception. I'm telling you the word of God. If we need that ancient oil and glory, we ought to purge ourselves. To be honest with ourselves, repent. Genuinely repentance. 
Just say you're back to that person. Say hey, you're normal. I mean, I see Isaiah chapter 5, verse number 20. We call evil good and good evil. We call sweet bitter and bitter sweet. We call justice injustice and injustice justice. That is where we are. So what I'm doing right now, a new mom is abnormal. And an abnormal new mom is normal. That is the generation in which we... So I thank God for Prophet Brian. Thank you for bringing our ears to us. This possibly might be the seed that God is looking for. For the next move. Adia when you may hear a seed. It looks like we have become like a sterile generation. We were in there. We'll be three months as Mejano. As I'm speaking to you right now, there is a marriage right now that we're dealing with. The marriage lasted for two weeks. Two weeks. Bisame sadie ne gu no. Sister, I'm saying, "Minti bi mare, zade." Papa was saying, "No, this guy have sex too much." Nam zade. Was a brandy na di a chai microphone. Six rounds a night by seven days a week. Two weeks. That's a what genia would go. We go in there with abuse, abuse, abuse. Cause so for penny, we're going to so afraid us. As soon as you brother, no brother, no the answer to us. We shit out. No, I yell come on. Now we have people. One of the things that we have lost, Papa, is proper correct exegesis. We've lost that. The correct, appropriate interpretation of the scriptures. We've lost that. It has no theological basis and biblical contents. And omnia dear. And this is why, you know, the body is so divided. So divided. Rainbow, all kinds of frivolous and loose teachings, false teachings coming into the house of God. We have lost the fear of God that the, the pulpit is an epicenter of where God has placed his holy name. Therefore, you can't sleep with girls and still come and stand on this altar. You can't do that. Because we are not so. When you are in an angel, so we suffer. When you are in an angel, and you say, I'm going to go to a suffer. And so our worship is loot. And you know, who know? These young boys, they can sing powerfully, no character. I tell Francis all the time. Ebony was also gifted. Ebony voice, you know, is far better than most of your gospel musicians. From the young lady. She was enormously gifted. Now the point is this. The fact that you can perform. Never forget that Lucifer is also a performer. It has so much you know. Time is ticking on your heads. And I'm telling you, this is one of the reasons why even our marriages don't last, relationships don't last. You know, a young lady of almost like 23, she's already a divorcee. What generation is this? Which one is this? Ah, yes. Now, this particular night possibly will be a reflective night. Therapeutic night. Sit down and reflect. This is the time to reflect and repent. This is the time to come back to your first love. This is the night to come to that place. Yeah. Because when now we shall all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. All of us. Don't forget that one. As I'm standing here right now, God will judge me. Oh, I know that God will judge me. What do you mean? Paso obe we nyumano the motives that drives it. I am done. But before I go out right now, I'm telling you, 
And this is the reason why now we don't sing of, you know, the gospel. Gospel music must be, you know, the gospel preached in songs. You know, the other day my heart was broken when the people were discussing and said uh, in the gospel music industry, you can't industrialize the gospel. You cannot industrialize the gospel. It is not an industry. It is a ministry. Come back to your first love. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, the blessing of the Lord is not on us. Apostle General Sam Granchi Ankara, the Lord bless you. Yesterday, last week, at the Shepherd's Summit, I watched you, you know, you ministered too powerfully all the two days. Apostle General asked a question. If this generation is the ones we are about to hand over our legacy to, he said, then this is a loose, frivolous, mediocre generation. The standard we have set is too low. Whilst the fathers and the matriarchs have set too high a standard. Now character is gone. Character is gone. We are making like. What do you say? And therefore, the real gospel, we are afraid to preach it. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank God for granting me this privilege and opportunity on IS Prophet Brian's altar. And I want to ask everybody, wherever you are sitting watching us tonight, please take a moment and reflect on your life and repent because you may not have this privilege again you may not have this privilege again let's make it right with God all the things that the speakers are talking about purpose, vision, concepts, ideas synopsis, all these lovely things are great but it is vain if the builder does not build the house. It is vain. If the builder does not. They that build. They will build it. But it will be in vain. So all the concepts. Will come together. Only with the fear of the Lord. I quote two scriptures. And then I'm done. Proverbs chapter number 9 verse number 10. The Bible said. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 1 verse number 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Isaiah chapter 33 verse number 6. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time. Strength of knowledge and the fear of God will be a treasure. Stand to your feet. Let us pray. May I solicit your total attention for tonight. Short time pleasure denies a future denies a future. Two minutes prayer and one minute I am down. Don't miss this opportunity. May I solicit no movement. Please, just three minutes of your time. Two minutes for prayer. One minute I go down the stairs. God gave you an opportunity tonight to be in this place. And the whole highlighting is that to whom much is given, a lot more is required. Yehua, he's a very smart businessman. Very smart businessman. He gave you life. There are 10 things the Lord has given everybody in this building for free. Whether you know it or not. The, the f number one thing is the life you are enjoying. Number two is purpose. Your vision, your assignment. Number three is ideas. God is giving everybody an idea. IS is an idea. An idea that came to Prophet Brian many years ago. And he nurtured it, made moves about it. Look at what the Lord has done. Yeah, you know. Number four, God gives you opportunity. The best footballers are not Messi and Ronaldo. The best footballers are maybe playing here at Medina Sakura Park. The only difference is because they have not gotten an opportunity yet. 
the most beautiful women are not the ones you know the ones that are very beautiful are in your hometown they haven't gotten an opportunity yet let me bring them from the village and strip them of village nature and put some stuff on them and let's see who you know will be beautiful and therefore god gives everybody an opportunity number five the lord grants everybody in this place people gives you people to help you those people will help you listen to the honorable minister there were people at every point of her life you know to open doors for you know there was somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who could open the door god will always give you people those people are there to facilitate your growth and elevation don't don't i like how you know the gentleman that linked the honorable minister to uh the kofi Annan training school she categorically said do not despise any of those people some of the people will be high profile some will be down to work others are even going to be helpers in your home do not despise them people the lord will bless you they will just come you know right there in your life one of the things that the lord has given everybody is desire you know desire yeah and those desires if you do not know how to control it it is just like a city without walls or a fast car without brakes desire and and all that and the more they are pronouncing a curse the more is coming on you and you are you've taken it for granted we were having a deliverance service and manifestation the demon said I cursed you and I used my monthly blood excrement to curse you and I said you will never see light and demon was manifesting and the young man started crying he said, yes, I impregnated this girl and the father, fathers came in and I denied before fathers. And out of pain, this girl cursed. This guy went all over America, had wealth, came back home, childless. That's why your baby born in You can avoid the mistakes. Most of the mistakes like unhealthy comparison and competition are unnecessary. Unnecessary. I like how my father put it tonight. There are people who hate you, but they have not even seen you before. They don't even know you. This social media thing, somebody can be your enemy. So, okay, let me go down. It's shocking. Because I'm living in a time that where we pay jaya cry, you will be time. On person who will pay jaya. Can you raise your two hands before the Lord? Silent prayer. It is just a very quiet prayer. David said, "Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me." I want you to talk to God tonight, please. Just thirty seconds. I'm done. 30 seconds. Only. Make it right with God. I present to you Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. He came unto his own, but his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them that believe in his name. I know you will say, oh, I'm a Christian. <laughs> My judgment will begin from the house of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse number 17. It will begin from us, the pulpiteers, the preachers, the leaders. I'm done. Jimmy I'm done.
Father, I commend your people to you, to the word of your grace that is able to build them up and to give them an inheritance. Everybody watching us online, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and all the outlets of ministry, I pray in the name of Jesus, be gracious to us. Grant us the grace. Your word is very clear. Matthew 16, 24. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross and follow me. If we come to that particular place, in Jesus' precious name, I release the rest of our years, tomorrow morning session, to the afternoon session, right through the evening session, Friday morning session to the afternoon session, and then the grand meeting, the national youth all night, I pray in the name of Jesus that your hand of blessing will come upon this ecclesia and i pray oh god for all the speakers you send them here as prophets to deposit your intention and your mind i ask your hand of blessing and reciprocity in jesus precious name i lift the convener the visionary prophet brian and his dear wife and family i bring them before your throne and i'm asking your favor your grace and blessing in the name of jesus whatever he has invested I pray that you will reward him and honor him in the name of Jesus and aid him to do even more all to your glory. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout amen. amen. Can I, can I ask, can I ask, as many people who want to honor the Lord with only 100 Ghana cities, as many as 70 people, run to this altar. Let's do this all to the glory of the Lord. Only 100 cities. Only hundred. Wherever you are, it's our offering, our Thanksgiving offering. One moment, please. Just one moment. As many people, as many, as many, as many. You can come. I just want to share a word of prayer before we close. Yeah. The Lord bless you. Thank you, men of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hundred only. Join us here. Join us here. A very short prayer, and I'm done. Yeah, 100, 50, it's your offering, 50 cities, join us now, 50, 50, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, pick up an offering, let's, let's all give a thanksgiving offering before we go, all of us, protocol, can we have offering to rise up on your feet. Whilst Prophet Kofi Odlo lifted the flag, I think it's wise for us to say a prayer for the Honorable